Hi, I'm Bill Betts. Yeah, thumbs up. Brilliant. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm Bill. I run this group. I put this group together and uh, also run Pet Passion to Profit, which is a biz business mentorship training company for pet groomers and other professionals. Um, now, I've been meaning to do this for a while and we had a busy day yesterday. I hosted some of my clients and did a goal planning day. So having a, a chilled out Tuesday, having done all that teaching yesterday. But I've been wanting to do this for a while and uh, come in live um, to this group and talk about this. So I'm going to call it, now this is a veterinary term. This is what they do in vets. So I'm going to call it lunch and learn because uh, the vets quite often have sales reps and that come into their practices during lunchtime. They do like a half an hour um, seminar or uh, information session about drugs that they they're offering to them so it's something that we could take perhaps from the veterinary industry um maybe we could learn from them and do these like lunch and learn so I thought maybe I'd get in there and uh, do it first so what we're going to talk about today and it's been on my mind for a while and I, I did something about it of, of, you know maybe last year but I want to talk about some um about us and our and where we are within our business, within our uh, how we're feeling, and um, we're going to go take you through a little diagram which I'm going to draw. Now I wasn't great at art at school, but you're going to witness some awesome drawing right now. So we're going to start talking about um, being in the comfort zone and stuff like that. So let me just share my screen and pull up me my drawing pad, and then you can uh, experience the awesomeness of uh, my drawing. One minute, let's get this technology working. I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's busy. It's end of January. Hopefully, you know, the sun's starting to shine. Things are getting a bit better. Uh, hopefully you're getting busier. The phones are ringing. You know, we're, we're seeing lots of puppies, which is good. So we, uh, in our pet grooming business, um, we've taken on a vet. So every Monday morning, my wife's a vet nurse and a pet groomer. Um, so every Monday morning, we um, hold a vaccination clinic. And uh, we're very, very busy with puppies, which is good for the industry, isn't it? We're very, very busy with puppies, which is good for the grooming industry, because these obviously are all feeding through into our grooming salons as well and it's a real mixture as well of, of pups i don't know if you heard on the news this morning not that we should watch the news but um pets at home are also um expecting to put out a big profit um this quarter so again although uh, a lot of people are talking about the economy and it's sort of shrinking and we're doing badly you know pets at home are, are reporting a, a profit which is nice because obviously it shows that the the pet industry is still growing and they're still busy and certainly a lot of uh, my clients are certainly busy which is good so you should be able to see a little white screen there um and we're going to talk about the the zones that we live in okay so some of you will be um be in business for some time you know, you've got your businesses established and uh, you're doing sort of, you know, maybe five years and you've done the same thing. And I always say like doing the same thing is potentially one of the one of the worst things to do in business. But that's because we're living in our comfort zone, aren't we? So we're going to put comfort zone at the, at the top. And this is the this is the easy, the easy part of life, isn't it? You know, we may have um, a really busy home life. Uh, we may have a really busy work life but actually staying in the comfort zone is is comfortable we know what we know we know what we do we know we can charge the prices that we that we get we know we've got customers coming through the door maybe our books are full maybe we've 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 got to that point where we're just thinking books are full my my job here is done I am now, you know, enjoying not having to market my business, not having to sell my services to new people. My books are full. They know exactly what they get. I know exactly what I get. Um, so I am in the comfort zone and I'm, you know, maybe not loving life, but I'm in the comfort zone. It's easy. You know, and our brain can be really lazy at times as well. Our brain can be really sort of like, just plod along, you know, and we've all got different priorities in our life as well. So maybe you you come into pet grooming, you've got your, you, you're doing your business for a while and then you're having a family or, you know, you get married or you're going out and meeting new people. And so having like being in the comfort zone for work is, is really easy. You know, we just part that, turn up to work, do the same thing. 
But sometimes, and for some people, and I'll sort of discuss this from some of my clients' perspectives, they get really, there's a disconnect there. There's a disconnect. They're like, and we certainly felt this at Aid Cell Animal, Animal Care, you know, we certainly felt there's something missing. You know, we're working bloody hard. We're doing all this grooming. We're putting up with the pets. We're having to deal with the clients that don't take our advice. They don't bloody, they don't brush their bloody dogs, do they? We know that. So I'm putting up with all this and something's not quite right. So I'm having this like disconnect in my brain and maybe with my bank statement as well. So the bank statement is like not connecting with my brain. And I'm thinking, I'm I'm, I'm not really enjoying this. Oh, I know. I'll go and add, um, I'll go and add retail. Yeah, the retail retail will um, will make me more money or doggy daycare or I'll go and add walk-in or I'll start a pickup and collection service. You know, we, we start grabbing out at lots and lots of different things to, to try and make us feel better about our business. Or maybe sometimes a lot of um, people love learning in this industry, don't they? You, you love going out and, and learning a new scissoring skills and watching other groomers sort of groom dogs. So, you know, it keeps us ticking over and we're, we're, we're doing some self-development, which is good. But does that satisfy that disconnect between the brain, what we're doing, what we're earning and um, moving our business forward? And for some people, some people don't want to move forward. Some people are really happy in the comfort zone and that is absolutely fine. So I'm not really talking to those that are, that are just happy to prod along, do what they do, do what they have to do, go home. But some people and, and some of my um obviously some of my clients or a lot of most of my clients are seeking something different they're seeking more you know and I've had clients come to me that are in the comfort zone and they keep reaching out and they keep reaching out they keep trying new things and they're on the edge of giving up and they're like I don't know what else I can do I don't know what else we can do but they're what they're doing is they're they're trying new things they're reaching out they're going to shows they're trying new products they're talking to their customers they're like trying to push their prices up but they are actually sitting in the fear zone okay so if i said to you right <clears throat> go and put your prices up tomorrow go and quote an extra five ten pounds to the next client that comes in how is that going to make you feel you're going to start feeling um sick I bet a lot of people wouldn't even like consider it. They'd be like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to lose all my clients. You know, you're going to go, everyone's just going to walk away. No one's going to use me and I'm going to, I'm going to lose all my clients to the, to the competition. I'm feeling really sick. I'm gonna all sweaty. Um, I'm going to lose sleep uh, over it. And I know that because I've been there. I remember, um, you know, every year we've been going for 18 years and every year we do the one pound increase on our prices. And even that at times was like, oh, you know, we're really pushing it here. One pound on all our prices. And you'd get that sick feeling because February was the time that we'd do our price increases. And February was the time that it was coming around. And you're like, right, we're going to have to talk to the customers again. We're going to have to do this. Feeling sick in the pit of our stomach, you know, laying in bed at night thinking, oh, are they going to pay that? Will people pay that extra price? You know, we're already the most expensive in the area because we, we're charging VAT. But the trouble is, you know, we're we're, we're struggling. You know, we, we the comfort zone, we're being taken out of our comfort zone by the economy. You know, inflation is pushing up all of our prices. So actually, although we like plodding along in our comfort zone, there are factors around us that are really pushing us outside and making us step outside of our comfort zone. And you only have to look in all the Facebook groups for dog groomers. And probably the most common um, question around is how much for? How much do you charge for? How much do you charge for? How much is this? How much is that? You know, so people are really conscious about charging more money, but we know what we need to do. And we might have friends and family around us that just go, well, it's simple, isn't it? You just put your prices up, go out there tomorrow and put your prices up. And you're sitting there going, yeah, no, it's not that simple. I've got customers that have been with me for five years. How can I put my prices up? They're just going to leave. Or, you know, how much do I put my prices up? So 
we're trying to step out of our comfort zone. We're trying to push ourselves. We're trying to like put our put our prices up. We're trying to make a difference. And we reach out to, uh, you know, maybe we've got uh, WhatsApp groups with uh, other groomers. Maybe we've got um, family. Like reach out to our partners or, or, our, or our parents and just say, look, you know, I'm really stuck with this business. I just not understanding what what to do or how to do it and then you're reaching out to them and they're just like well it's simple isn't it your family's like just do more dogs oh yeah great well in 10 years time I'm going to get a frozen shoulder or RSI and I'm not going to be able to work for for months because I'm having an operation doing more dogs isn't cutting it there's not enough time in the day to do more dogs well just put your prices up have you ever run a business? Do you know how to put your prices up? Do you know the fear that I'm feeling about putting my prices up? So when we reach out to the WhatsApp group with the other groomers in the area and, and they're like, oh, what do you charge for this? And they're all like, oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, you're my competition. I don't know if I want to tell you what I charge for this because I'm either embarrassed because it's quite low or you're my competition. So I don't actually want to share this with you right now so yeah just just put your prices up that's fine and maybe they're thinking yeah put your prices up because if you put your prices up all your customers are going to come to me so maybe that friendly whatsapp group is like not so helpful but also guess what they're doing as well guess where they're at in their journey they're right there as well they're in their fear zone they're reaching out to their grooming mates going what do i do you know inflation's at whatever percent it is and fuel and food and everything's going up so i need to put my prices up but i'm shit scared of doing it so they're reaching out to all these people uh, they're reaching out to their friends and family different groups you know you just sit there on the facebook groups and look at the look at the comments and what's coming in so we're sitting here in the fear zone we know we need to do something we're either ambitious and we want to move our business forward we either have this disconnect between the comfort zone and our wages and thinking i really really want to increase our uh, revenue i really really want to you know do less dogs and make more money there must be a way to do that or you know in circumstances around us are having to push us out of the comfort zone maybe um, the landlord's telling you to leave maybe you've got loads and loads of inquiries and you're like I need to expand this business the business needs to do more so we're really sitting there in the fear zone so this is where um a lot of people come to me and they reach out and they book in calls and we start talking about you know where they're at with their business and what they want to achieve and you know I'll be honest I get a lot of people say no to 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 my prices you know so what happens then what happens to those people that reach out, they find out about how I can help them, and then they're just like, oh, I'm not too sure about that. And they, they stick in the fear zone, don't they? They just stay there and they sit in the fear zone. Keep going backwards and forwards. Right, okay, so I've put my prices up a little bit, so I'll go back to the comfort zone. Oh, okay, so it's another year now, so now um, I'm going to put my prices up again. Oh, shit, I'm still in the – I'm back in the fear zone again. Or – um okay, this is not working. I'm not putting my prices up enough. They're not meeting my income. They're not, they're not paying me enough money. So I'm going to, I know, I know I'm going to introduce a new service. So I'm going to go out there and get some more training and I'm going to introduce some more service. So I'll go and do the Pet training. And I hear this so much. I'll go and do the Pet training. I'm going to add teeth cleaning to my, to my, to my business. It's going to be great. I'm going to put a social media post out. I'm going to put a Facebook post out. Everyone's going to sign up for teeth cleaning problem solved and I can go right back into my comfort zone not an issue whatsoever I've sold it good work so they go ahead they, they invest the money which is awesome you know do the training invest the money they look at everyone else's posts they perhaps go into their whatsapp group with their other groomer mates and say what do you do for teeth cleaning oh you charge 30 pounds okay that's fine I'll, I'll charge 30 pounds it doesn't sound too bad does it they put a post out on Facebook like use a bit of Canva to design the post and uh, sit there and they sit there they get a few nibbles and a few people say how much is it and they like message back and say all right it's 30 pounds they're like mm, no and they sit there and then uh, the, the the month goes by after doing the training so now the training's starting to get a bit like um a bit loose in the heads a bit blurry and then the emmy pet kit then goes back in the box and then they're still not getting any bites no one's really signing up no customers really want to know about it and then they're like, oh, this is not going to work. 
So the Emmy pet or the cleaning teeth or whatever you use goes back on the shelf. So that's 300 and odd, that's 300 or pounds down the drain, isn't it? Because you're, you know, it's no good being in its box. It's not making dog's teeth clean sitting in its box and you're certainly not making any money um, from it. So, you know, okay, it's back in a box. So we're back into that comfort zone, aren't we? And just going, how are we going to do it? So every time people are backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, sitting in their comfort zone, going into their fear zone, trying to do new things, trying to implement things, you know, and some people will break out of that fear zone on their own. There is enough information in this Facebook group. There's enough information out there on YouTube and books in podcasts. And some people have the confidence to grab it by the balls and shake their business and move their business forwards and do it by themselves. And that is awesome, you know, but not everyone can do that. So, and we can, we certainly didn't as in our grooming business. So we reached out to countless business mentors and it was like talking to family, you know, they come in and do us a report and say, well, you need to get your customers to come more often, or you need to put your prices up and not knowing, you know, that we, we felt so scared to do all this. We were in the fear zone. We had no support. Um, so this is where clients come to me. So they come into me with uh, maybe a bit of lack of knowledge. They come to me with a poor mindset or um, they come to me with like a real overwhelm. We've been living in the comfort zone. We've been forced to get out of the comfort zone or we want to get out of the comfort zone and we're sitting in the fear zone and it's shit scary sitting in the fear zone. We don't know what to do. Don't know how to do it. So clients will then, um, obviously we go through a process with them and uh, ensure that um, the the pet groomer business program is the best for them. It fits their needs. It's what they want. Uh, look at their goals and what they want to achieve. So they reach out. Um, and obviously I'm, I'm talking about clients are reaching out to me, um, talking them through what's going on and signing up on its own can be fearful <laughs> signing up on us, signing up to a business program can be fearful. You know, we're using zoom. A lot of people don't use zoom. We're using Facebook groups, we're using WhatsApp groups. You're meeting new people. You're meeting experts in products and pricing like Robin Waite. You're meeting experts in social media like Zoe. I was in awe of Zoe when I I used to go and see. I'm still in the awe of Zoe. You know, her journey is amazing. And I used to go and see her when I was in the police and, and learn from her webinars and her um, in-person days that she used to do. And these are the resources that are available to people in the program. So, you know, if you've got a bit of imposter syndrome about you or a bit of like, oh, fear. And I just saw um, someone that's popped up. One of my clients just popped up on the uh, on the live. And, and I know them because they've put it in a in a case study. You know, they were fearful about talking on Zoom. They were fearful about coming onto Zoom. So, you know, there's a bit of fear there. But if you can get yourself through that and come onto the program, then we start moving into a new zone. And that's the learning zone. Okay. So the reason why we can get you out of the fear zone and into the learning zone is because as coaches and mentors, we've done this. We've done this training. We know what's going to be helping you. And I was having a conversation this morning with someone about the difference between mentoring and coaching. Okay. So mentoring is where someone will come along and they'll tell you what to do. So I suppose mentoring is is um, when you go and see another groomer and learn how to um, do the, the poodle trim or the, the rounded feet or the, the you know, the, the nice looking legs. And you're actually being mentored through that. They're showing you, they're teaching you, they're explaining to you how to do it and giving you a system to do it. So they're mentoring you in that way of, of finishing that poodle or, or doing that, that haircut. Okay. So that's mentoring. So that might be someone where um, someone's got a business and, and we're sort of saying, right, you need to go away, have a look at this resource, which is a spreadsheet, have a look at your ins and outs, start, spilling, start filling in that spreadsheet. And then we can go from there and look at your business. So we that's like the mentoring side of things and using our experience as business owners, our experience of running a pet groomers, our experience of having mentorship ourselves, you know, all of that goes into that mentoring. But what you need to understand is that when you're in the learning zone, this is a long process because we need to get you into the learning zone by helping you get remove yourself from the fear zone. And you're going to be moving in and out. 
because we're going to be pushing you as a business as a business owner we do push our clients to step out of that fear zone and move into that learning zone with us but the thing is and the reason why you stay in the in the learning zone the more and more work you do with us the fear zone becomes like further away because we're supportive you know you have daily access to the mentors you have weekly access via zoom to the mentors we are able to 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 look at what's stopping you from doing something what's keeping you in the fear zone and we can put things in place to do that so that's where coaching comes in so coaching is very much about asking you um questions and learning about you and then learning to recognize the the issues and um you know your triggers and what happens to put you straight back into the fear zone and we know how to get you through that fear zone and we know how to um help you develop yourself so that you do you go into the learning zone and you start making progress because when you start making progress you can kiss that fear zone goodbye that fear zone has gone you know, and you can see this with some of the, the case studies that I put out, some of the wins that I put out, the prices that some of the clients are achieving with their customers are amazing. And that's because they've kicked that fear zone into touch. They've gone into the learning zone and then they've used us. They've leaned on to the process. They've used the process. They've used the support and now they're growing. So that's the next part of it. So once you've done your learning and you start to understand how to uh, make changes and implement new things within your business, new prices, new structure, new services, uh, all all like into your business. And this is a slow thing. So this is like my, a lot of my clients now have been going for a year. So they've been working on these changes all throughout the year. It's not like overnight, we're just going to transform your business. You know, that's, that's not going to work because if we do that, we'll overwhelm you and you'll go straight back into that fear zone. And then we have to work again and work hard to get you out of that, to to get you back into learning. So we've done, you've you've been in the fear zone, you've sat in the fear zone, you may have sat there for many years, you know, and you may, um, and some of my clients have been putting through like 10 pound plus increases on their prices because they've sat in the fear zone and they really do need to do a price correction for what they're actually charging now. You know, their, their, their prices are in the fur have got threes in them. Their cockapoos are in the 45 pound mark. And it's like, right, you, you've been living in this fear zone about putting your prices up for far too long. And you actually just need to put a price correction in place. And they've been putting those through. And then obviously we've been doing stuff with new clients as well. So they've used the support with us. They've used the mentors. They've used the video lessons that are provided. They've used the community of pet groomers. They're all doing the same thing. They've all got the same values. They're all sort of um, looking to move them, punch their businesses forward. And then they're moving into, oh, just turn my iPad off. And then they're going to be moving into, or they've moved into the growth zone. Okay. This is like, oh my God, this is where clients send me messages or um, or reach out and just say, I wish I had done this sooner. Or why weren't you around five years ago? Well, sorry, I was in the police at the time. I didn't really have this on, my, on the horizon, but you know, it's awesome that I'm here now, isn't it? But, you know, why didn't I do this sooner? You know, why why were you not around when I started grooming? Now, the beauty of this now, and I was actually talking to a client yesterday, um, she's in the, she signed up to the to the program. Um, she was a full, uh, a teacher before going into pet grooming. And she left teaching in July and signed up to my, my business program quite quickly. You know, and what the beauty of that is, because she's brand new to grooming, there is none of this like ingrained, um, you know, fear about prices or this is how the industry does it. So don't do it any differently. She is just like smashing it out with the smashing it out with the prices. And she's actually turning around now to her mentor, the, the person that taught her how to groom dogs and saying to them, you need to put your prices up. You know, she's gone, she's out accelerated the um the pricing of her tutor, and she's out there on her WhatsApp group with the with her groomers, like groomer friends, going, 
you need to put your prices up, everyone. What's going on? But, you know, these are probably older groomers that have been a bit like not sure where to go or been living in the fear zone. But now this groomer <laughs> is pretty much bypassed the fear zone because she signed up straight away and hasn't got all of this like previous knowledge fear uh, around herself. So we, we're, you know, so with her, we're just working on how to sell like sales processes, you know, techniques to, to make her business more efficient, new services to introduce and then like pricing and, and pricing is like massive. And she's going to like, you know, meet her, her teacher salary within a year of opening her business. I mean, how amazing is that? And she is absolutely over the moon with that. So once you're into that growth zone, you can leave that learning zone behind, although there's always new things. So, you know, this year we've been looking at um, introducing cat grooming to some of our some of our clients' businesses. Now, before, they may have just gone, and I do hear this a lot, no, 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 I'm in my comfort zone. Um, I'm not doing cat grooming. I don't like cats. Uh, I'm not having, I'm a dog groomer. I'm not having nothing to do with cats. I'm in my comfort zone. I'm not considering it. And if I do consider it, you're putting me back into my my fear zone. However, we've done so much work with them around their mindset, around the business um, side of things, uh, how it can influence their, their growth, how it can influence their income. You know, adding the, the cat grooming is like turbocharging their business. So they're like, oh, cat grooming? Right, okay, so I've sorted out you know, I've sorted out my dog grooming prices. I'm where I kind of want to be. So now I can consider cat grooming. So all they do is they're in the growth zone with the dog grooming. They just go straight back to the learning zone and we completely skip that fear bit. Completely, you know, there's no fear about it because they know that they've got that help and support from us on the program. Uh, my wife's in the program. She's a dog groomer and a cat groomer. And she's going to be providing that support along with other people that do cats and they know that they just do not need to go into that fear zone when adding that services. The same for um, groomers that join the program and they don't have teeth cleaning on their books to stop at the moment. You know, again, they may have put off um, adding teeth cleaning because they didn't understand it. They didn't believe in it. They didn't know what it was about. And they were too fearful to go and, and uh, introduce it to their clients. But again, we work with them. We explain the benefits, do a bit of mentoring, do a bit of coaching around it. And then we take them out of that fear zone into the learning zone. They go and do the courses and then help them market it, price it and get it out there. And then they're in the growth zone again with their teeth cleaning and making huge, huge improvements. So you may you may have groomers now. Or I have groomers now that are coming up to a year within the program. And they're now um, they've done that. They've done. They've been taken out of the fear zone. And if they do go back into the fear zone, they know how to fix it um they've done the learning and they again you know they're, they're pretty much on point with with most of the stuff on the business they've done the growth thing and they're quite happy with where they are after a year so now they've gone back into the into the comfort zone but their comfort zone now is maybe 30 percent more income wise than what it was when they first joined a year ago or their comfort zone now maybe um an extra member of staff and more services added on to the added on to their business, and along with the support, they know and they're happy that um, no matter what happens, they can deal with it. You know, they've had that training; they're no longer got that overwhelm, that and that training, uh, that that sort of training brick wall which they keep kept hitting. So it's fine to go back into that comfort zone, and then maybe we'll look at something else and take them back into their learning zone and into the growth zone. But so when you so the, I suppose the main the main message really coming from this is when you step out of that comfort zone and into your peer zone, if you don't have that support around you, if you don't have people helping you, mentoring and coaching you to uh, improve your business, and some people will be able to get themselves through the fear zone, that's fine. And, and that's totally understandable. But for those that are struggling and sitting in the fear zone, going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, comfort zone, fear zone, comfort zone, fear zone, some of those or some people will just give up and they'll say, I can't make any more money in my business. I'm not enjoying it. I hate this. I'm going to close my business. And that is just really, really sad. And I just really don't want to see that happening. 
I truly, truly believe that pet grooming can make you a really good income. And I want to make sure that everyone else believes that as well, including friends and family. You know, I don't want people saying, oh, you're just a pet groomer. I don't want people saying, you know, I work from my shed. I don't want that language. I want people to be proud of what they do and proud of their businesses. And I want people to say to the, their friends and family, I'm an entrepreneur. I provide job opportunities to the local community. I solve people's problems with their pets. You know, I'm a pet groomer and I'm earning a decent income from this. OK, but if we're sitting in that fear zone, that's not going to happen because you're just going back and forwards, back and forwards. And that's where you need to reach out for that help and support. And that's where um, my business program is really starting to come into its own, having done a year's worth of work with clients. So get that support and leave that fear zone, enter that learning zone, learn about business, learn how to improve your business, learn how to scale your business, learn how to make more money, you know, make more money so you don't have to do as many clients, make more money so you can take August off and spend it with your kids during summer holidays. And that is a challenge for one of my clients at the moment. Make more money so that you can start building up buffers, you know, and start paying off any debt that you have. Imagine how much how it would be like. Imagine what it'd feel like if you didn't have that debt in your life. Um, you didn't have to pay that credit card off, or you didn't have to pay that loan off, or you needed to go and buy a, a, an old car to get you back to and from work, and you just had the savings to pay it. You know, reach out and, and come out of that fear zone. Go into the learning zone. Learn more about business. Learn how to how to um, make your business better and work for you better. And that. If you're a loan groomer, if you're a mobile groomer, if you have a salon, you know, it doesn't matter. This can all work for all of you. Get into that growth zone with that support, with that help, and make your new comfort zone, you know, a lot more profitable, a lot safer, you know, better mindset, you know, less sort of uh, anxiety, less worries, sleep better at night, you know, be able to deal with problems easier because, there's someone there to help you or you've got now got some money behind you so you, you don't have to worry about that MOT that's coming up okay this is all possible and I can give you examples of people that I work with that uh, have done this are doing this and are winning in their business so that's uh that's what I wanted to come in and do this lunch and learn about if you're just joining if you're just joining this live looking at my uh, my diagram you must think what the hell has happened there he has literally just dumped his brain onto um onto this ipad but the main the main thing is is we all live in this comfort zone i lived in that comfort zone for 18 years in the police service uh and then people like and then i had like a little mini breakdown and i i told my employer that i couldn't work anymore so i went into the fear zone um, but then I reached out, got some mentorship, got some coaching. I started my business, went into the learning zone with my business, left the police, and then I'm growing. Every day I'm growing. Every day is a school day, and it's amazing. And you can do this for your business as well. And I'm starting to come into my comfort zone, so I'll be doing some new things so new things to, to get myself out of there, but I won't be going anywhere near here anymore. That can get lost because I've got mentors, I've got coaches, and I've got clients behind me that are like high-fiving and giving me all that support. And you can too. You can have that too. So what I'm going to do is I'll drop um, a little booking link in, in the comments below this. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you can relate to this video, if you think, yeah, you know, that's me. I can really relate to that. You know, just give us a thumbs up, a, a little heart, something like that, just to let me know that you've enjoyed this lunch and learn. Uh, and those that are joining me um, just now, I've stolen that terminology from the vets. The vets do a thing called lunch and learn. So I thought we'd bring that into this into this group as well. Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me how you feel. And uh, if you want to get out of that fear zone, if you want to get out of the comfort zone, if you're banging your head against a brick wall because you just don't know what to do with your business or how to improve it, then reach out. Let's get a chat in and let's see if we can get you onto the onto the business program and make some changes in your in your business, but also in your life.
Um, look out for some case studies that are coming out soon. Look out for some podcasts that I'm going to be doing with some of my clients, just talking about, you know, their businesses and their journey that they've had with us. Um, just to just to give you a bit of a flavour as to how we work and what's going on. All right. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, make sure if you watch this back, just chuck in the comments replay so that I know that people are watching it. And uh, that will also help others to go out and see it and find it. And I think it's really important that uh, we all understand where we are and where what zone we are in um, within our lives and within our business. Hope that all made sense. And uh, sorry about my messy drawing. And I do get quite passionate, as you can see. But uh, yeah, take care. Have a great day. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow night, um, 7.30, live within the group. And we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. And that is another one that you cannot miss because it's going to be really important for you. All right. Take care. Enjoy.